on the ground it's like a clay pipe but it is absolutely gorgeous to see it's absolutely actually it's magnificent the style of it the color of it hi guys and welcome back to the channel so this is the old church and tower of saint mary's just outside cork in inish shannon now i do know that that tower there has been recently uh restored but it's quite an interesting old graveyard quite uneven to walk around there's an interesting kind of a i don't know what that is over there it's kind of a a big square shaped maybe it was an old crypt or something but i think we'll go to the side first have a look at this and see what it is actually i'm not sure maybe it was or is a vault it's hard to tell i don't know there's no sign of writing or anything on it so we're just at the side of the the tower and part of the, what remains of the church dates back to the 6th century so very very old so this one here looks like we might be able to read it this is the burial place of John Appleby and family. He departed this life May the 17th and then just here, I think it's 18, 1812 there. And this one then is quite interesting behind him. Now, I don't think I'll get too far because I don't know, that ground is very bad there. It says Edwin Webb died March the 4th 1897 age just 32 but there's like a shield with the initials for Edwin there on his tombstone see what it says on it there life's work well done life's crown well won then comes rest wow so always very interesting to read some of the inscriptions that there looks like a very overgrown tomb, I presume. Just being careful where we're walking with this long grass. I don't matter that was a crypt or it was a tomb. It's completely covered, but I do know that this one must be a tomb or a vault. We probably will be able to read it. This tomb contains the remains of Thomas Quint, Quintus. No, no. Quin. Q U I N. There's usually two N's. Esquire. K C. And Charlotte, his wife, also of John Meath. Captain. R N. And Elizabeth Hutchinson his wife and of their children, Sarah, Martha, wife of William, uh, gosh, what's that? S-C-H-R-I-B-E-R. -E Come on, you're good with names there. <laughs> Schreiber, is it? Schreiber, Schreiber. maybe? Yeah, Esquire. Uh, Frederica Jane, William, Frederick, Frederick. Wow. So we have a captain here and his children. So RN is the Royal Navy. Royal it? Navy, yeah, but we have several different, like we've Hutchison. Captain of the Royal Navy. We have Quinn. And then that, it's almost like a German name, isn't it? Schreiber. Schreiber, I think. But just as we're walking, the sun has come out because it has been really, really horrible weather lately. So that's a huge tomb so they're all possibly in there but then look at this we have a barrel shaped 
vault, tomb. Oh, I don't think there's anything wrote on it. What a shame. That is gorgeous. Oh, hold on. Red we might be able to, if we make a shadow. Captain. Looks like Captain Arthur John. And that's the same name. Schreiber. Schreiber. HP. Uh, late HM. 31st Regiment. Died the 28th of May 1865. He was only 33 when he died. So obviously we have an SM here for his initials. So, no we don't actually. Because if it's Arthur John Schreiber. I don't know where the S comes from. But we've the an M there as well. But Captain Arthur John Schreiber, I think, is the surname. HP late HM 31st Regiment. Look at that. So then this one and the one behind it are the, the same family somewhere along because there's Quinns as well mentioned up there. So we have some ruins of a church. I'll be bringing you inside in there as well. Look at that for engraving. Beautiful designs. The shaking hands. Um, in loving memory of William John Quinn. So we've more Quinns. 1922. So beautiful uh, design there. The shroud and the suit. That will come to us all. We have a gate there. I don't know whether that would have been part of the graveyard. Beautiful runes. Another very decorative stone here. Here lieth the body of James unsure of the surname James it could be is it Cooney with him make a shadow C-O-U-N-E-Y yeah Cooney everything else seems to have gone with lovely designs it's like ivy there and I think we possibly have if I put a bit of a shadow on it I think there are yeah angels on either side Beautiful area down here. This is the burying burying place of Philip Fitzgerald who departed this life. May 1804, aged 80 years, and also his daughter Margaret who departed this life. June 1813, aged 25. Beside that then it says, Here lieth the body of Daniel Harrington who departed this life. November the 21st, 1792, aged 42. God rest his soul. He finished his course with joy and is at rest with our Saviour. So these stones have obviously been cleaned and restored. Beautiful designs on them. Pray for the soul of is a Brigadier General Sean Hayes. Is it Hayes? Hales, TD. Uh, Cork Brigade IRA, his sisters Annie, Hannah, Bessie, his father Robert, uh, Margaret, his mother, his aunt is there, his grandfather John, his grandmother Margaret, great grandfather Robert, great grandmother Anne, daughter of Philip Fitzgerald. Gosh, of the whole family. And you can see how big the plot actually is. But actually on the, the second stone, I don't know whether you'll see it. We have some gorgeous designs, probably won't pick it up there. But I can see the rooster there in the middle of that stone. It's not going to be great for you because of the, the sunlight. It looks like a lot of these stones have been repainted by hand. There's another one up here. This is the burying place of Daniel 
Coughlin and family who departed this life February the 17th, 1780, age 73. And this actually is all the Coglins. And then even on the plaque, we have a James Coglin then as well. This. Temple Martin. The stone replaced. Oh yes, so it says the name Coughlin. Skevenish. The stone replaced December 1780. So I wonder, is that to do with the plaque above it maybe? Or just they have completely renewed the stone there. Typical Irish weather, the sun has gone again. But it does make it easier to read the stones. Now this stone here is quite beautiful. I see the rooster again on it. IHS symbol, beautiful designs. It looks like we've two roosters. One there, you're not going to see it very well. And the other just here, it says, this is erected by Daniel Murphy in memory of his wife, I'd say. And then everything else is just completely covered with the grass growing up. This one actually has the dove on it. That sun is really not helping, is it? Um, in loving memory of Sarah Jane Williams, May 1915, age just 33. Beautiful dove there. You can't either have the sun or you have the rain. And the sun makes it hard to read the stones. And then the rain just isn't very nice at all. Right, I think we will enter in to the inside of the ruins of the church. From here it looks quite beautiful. But when you walk in and look up, you can see that the, there's only half of the, the structure itself remaining, but they have repaired that. Thankfully. And this is what we are entering into. Several vaults just inside the ruins of the church. Here lie the remains of Thomas Christopher Cole, and I think that says JP, who died January 1877, age 70, also those of his grandson George. Friend Cole, who died the 5th of April 1881, aged 73, or is it 13? No, it's not, 13. it's 13. So George Friend Cole, grandson of Thomas Christopher, was only 13 years and nine months. Son of the Reverend Cole, um, Harriet Jane, wife of the above, died March 1802, aged 82, so good age. Also of the Reverend John Harding Cole. So little George, was only 13 years and nine months and his remains are interred in there. Quite sad. And it's a beautiful vault just inside See the magnificent the ruins. Like 
the wealthier, more well-to-do people were buried inside the church. Yeah, and that's the way it was. So if you had extra money, you got kind of, you know, permission to be buried inside the ruins of the churches. So this is the burial place of Thomas Stawell Quinn and family of Firgrove House in Ishannon. So that's the little town we're in now. He departed this life on September the 26th, 1886. Blessed are the dead which, which die in the Lord, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. And this too is a huge... Oh dear. Uh, that's in bad condition, isn't it? It's all blocked up. So it's been blocked up, but I mean, the whole thing is falling, which is... Gosh, it is really, really bad, isn't it? That crack goes right in. Didn't come this oh, yeah. So that's not going to, I don't think, last very long. Now, there is something on this stone in loving memory of Richard Quinn Esquire, JP, died May 1870, aged 80, and of his dearly loved daughter, Agnes Orpen, Patterson and she died June 1895. Great names I have to say. Patterson. Aren't they? But when you turn down to the left we have this beautiful barrel shaped vault. You can see the beautiful red brick. I do see some sort of writing there and we'll have to use the torch to try and read that. Mind this is quite slippy now. So in ooh loving memory of Benjamin Robert D Robert sorry died April the 17th 1920 aged 80 and his wife Charlotte she died September 17th 1903 aged 65 also their daughter Lydia Ann died September 13th 1922 aged 52 and Charlotte Robbins sorry Roberts died October the 13th, 1943. So that's that. Um, as I said, it's a beautiful uh, barrel shaped. Look at the brick though. It's a pity the camera just doesn't show how red it is. Wait now when the sun comes out. Definitely can't get a good shot of it for you. But it is absolutely gorgeous. Let's take a look at the other side. Look at that. Oh, look at the door. Wow. Now you can see the colour really, really well. And if I stand right back and just show you what we are looking at now. I'll go back as far as I can. Look at that. That is stunning. What a view, beautiful place to be at rest in. There's another plaque there on the door, I think. Where? On the side of the door? I think it's a plaque, maybe. It, looks it like does it's look like it's different to the rest of it. I don't know, is it? I no. Know. Oh. No, I do. I don't know. I bet you it was at one time, because it's different That's to anything else. Design, maybe. I don't know. I wonder will we I be able to take a look inside. It says B. Roberts. Turin, Turin, look at that. That is not a very old lock, is it? That looks like it's more recent. Yeah, some of them are Yale to make. Right, we might take a look inside. Right, so that's, that's the bottom of the, the little vault inside. It's kind of laid out in kind of three, what would you call them? Three little uh, sections, I suppose, yeah. Now, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to show ye, but we spotted it. I don't think I will be able to show ye. You can just see there. And if I can in edit, I don't know whether I, can, I have it in the, the, in shot there. Oh. 
it's actually in quite bad condition now. We have seen there, you do see some human remains, all right. But what we've seen, and I don't know whether I'm going to be able to see it now for you. I'll just see. Can I? Have you the light on it now? Yeah. Yeah, so just there, uh, is it up near the red brick? Yeah. Yeah, so up near the red brick, I might be able to make an arrow in edit. I'm just afraid to zoom in too much. You can kind of see a bit of gold glistening. That's an old clay pipe, would you believe? And really popular in Ireland years ago. But an old clay pipe, unfortunately, as I said, you do see some remains there. But you can see the different sections. We have a bottle in there as well and some like stones have fallen in. But a very, very beautiful vault on the outside. So yeah, I hope you've seen that. Just in there on the ground, it's like a clay pipe. But it is absolutely gorgeous to see. It's absolutely, actually, it's magnificent. The style of it, the colour of it. And I can only imagine what it was like all those years ago. Absolutely stunning. Um, if I turn around, I have noticed uh, these beautiful railings. Absolutely gorgeous, really, really decorative. And the color of them actually goes really well with the vault. I'm presuming, just looking at this here, that this also, if I can just get around, was also a vault because you can see it raised up and i mean these beautiful rails this these beautiful smooth, yeah i'd say they have fixed whoops fallen over brambles yeah the nuts and bolts there are are new i don't know why they are there actually i don't know because they're not doing anything but it just brings you if we open up the gate <laughs> look at that into this it's all cemented over but it is a huge vault. There's nothing there to say who is in there, but. That is some iron. That is some iron. Can you Where imagine? Is that is. To try and make something like that again today. Even the, the bars themselves have beautiful designs and it goes all the way from one side of the church right down to the end. That would have cost end. a pretty penny. It would have cost a lot of money. This is, um, I presume this was rails look at those aren't they gorgeous they're almost like daisies but they're not but they're beautiful the color of them um and just a headstone so is there a name on it there oh my god the other way around oh yeah the, the rotterhand rotterman is it or rotter rotterman maybe i don't know but a little headstone here and it's colonel Colonel Thomas Quinn Mead. So the same name as we've been reading here. Late of the Royal Marine Artillery, Artillery who died at Belmont, deeply lamented. Um, that's deeply lamented and mourned by all who knew him. On the 17th of May, sorry, March, 1890, aged 65 years. Father, in to thy hearts, I call, command, and then the rest is hard to read. So Thomas Quinn Mead, Colonel, late of the Royal Marine Artillery. Love Beautiful. Navy people here. Isn't there is, yeah. So obviously the whole family kind of shared that down through the generations, the the navy, the military. Absolutely gorgeous, stunning place. Right, so guys, that's the end of the video. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But for now, from beautiful Inishannon. Take care 
God bless and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.